Hello everybody, GA Simpilot here today. A couple things. Um, first thing, just got back from vacation, so I'm enjoying getting back in the saddle and do some flying. Um, today we are going to be um, doing leg four of the Florida to Michigan trip, and we are going from uh, Augusta, Georgia to Asheville. Um, I just got back from a trip from Asheville, so I was really, really looking forward to coming back to this. Um, if you've seen other my previous videos, we had been doing the first legs from uh, St. Augustine um, up to Brunswick, then to um, Hilton Head, Savannah, and then to um, Augusta. And we've been in the Airfoil Labs 172, and I thought about... How about we um, put together, you know, I got a couple of aircraft in this hangar. I might as well utilize them. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly simulated using that one plane through that whole thing. So uh, and that, and then we'll do different situations throughout this trip. Um, one of the cool things that I thought about today, this is a little bit of a long stretch. Um, and there are v basic VORs right in along, uh, along this path that I'd like to use. And today what I'm thinking about doing, if you hadn't already seen up at the top here, um, I'm going to take the uh, Albeo Saratoga TC out today. A little bit faster. Got a little bit better ground speed, 170. Sometimes I could push to 180, but we'll see. I believe we might have a tailwind. I'm not sure. Um, if you hadn't noticed by this, um, I have real-world weather on this flight, and this is as of right now. So our hope, our flight time is looking like one hour. Our hope, we are going to simulate takeoff in um, IFR and do our IFR leg in this in route and hopefully we can beat the storm to Asheville. Um, it was a beautiful day today um, and I'm um, hoping to beat this cold front in there right now. So like you said, uh, let's look uh, 131 miles, one hour, a little bit longer uh, flight for you guys, so a little bit longer video. Um, fuel burn 16.4. So Let's uh, get going and see if we can beat this storm in. So, back in. Um, also found a checklist online, and I want to kind of be um, really strict on the uh, checklist and uh, kind of do everything right. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time in this uh, Saratoga. Um, so, it's this is going to be a good flight. And actually, I'm trying to get uh, very comfortable with this plane because this is what I'm going to use for the uh, Cat 5 rating, which you guys will see that soon because that will be uh, coming out. Prob I don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow or not, but uh, you guys um, will be able to see it. And uh, I've been looking forward to it. It's very challenging, very long flight going from uh, uh, Burbank to Las, uh, Las Vegas. So, so yeah, this is about the fastest thing that I have in my uh, hangar that will be uh, good to use for that. So can't wait. Looking forward. So, yeah, and I want to get back on Pilotage. And speaking of that, we are going to get... I'm just going to log into Pilotage on that just so I can kind of be uh, in where uh, November 5491 will go 5491 uh, Foxtrot. PA32, connect. Connected to Pilot Edge. Foxtrot. Okay. All right. So let's go to this checklist. Okay. Flight instruments check. We're going to get rid of the steering wheel here. Uh, everything's up top. Forgot about that. Everything's up top. So battery master. Flight instruments check. Avionics. And I don't know why I'm doing that because I have my... Uh, my panel. Actually, it's, yep, there we go. Okay. Avionics. And like I said, we're going to do this um, 
with VORs and hand flying. I am not going to program the GPS, and uh, we're just going to hand fly this bad boy. Okay, everything is good. Fuel. Okay. Turn the avionics back off. Okay. Fuel the fullest tank. They're both at the same. So we're going to go left for now. Uh, boost pump on. And let's look and make sure. All right. Boost pump on. Oh, I want to make sure everything's low so that... <sighs> okay. Boost pump's on. Engine gauges check. Everything's in the green or off. Okay. Alternate air off. And I do not know where that is on here. Alternate air right there. Off or closed, I guess. Okay. Prop max RPM. Mixture rich. And let's look for our fuel flow. No fuel flow yet. Flap set. Trim temp set. Oh, that, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm off. That's before takeoff checklist. Okay. It's right next to it. All right. Fuel valve full tank. Lights off. Radio master off. Transponder off. Circuit breakers check. Clock set. Altimeter set. Uh, can't do that yet. Flaps check. Okay. Engine start. Here we go. Master on. Got master on. Gear down three green. Three green. Ignition key switch. Throttle open one half. Make sure idle cut off. Boost pump on. It is on. Make sure open for three seconds. Now this is a uh, checklist for a uh, Saratoga S T, and I don't know if it's going to be 100% off. So let's go back to make sure it cut off. Okay, key, start switch, clear prop. Okay, that's much better. Sorry about that. Been a little bit. Okay, just throttled a, a thousand RPM. And there's a nifty little... RPM's at 400. Let's bring this up a little bit. She comes up, she's very sensitive. Once you hit.
Okay. Go. A little pressure check. Oil pressure's in the green. Radio's on. Transponder's set to standby. Fuel computer set. the field computer. I'd have to look up on that. Okay, so it wants our pedo heat on, so we're going to turn that on. We're also going to turn our beacon on. Okay. Alright, so I believe we checked and I'm going to double check again, but I'm pretty sure the ATIS code, and I'm going to turn that down just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the ATIS code when we checked it was not the correct one for per the regular charts, but we'll check it. 132.75. Light and variable visibility more than 10. This is not melon. Sky clear. Temperature okay. 17. And then, 2 .12. even after I looked. Okay, let's change that. After I changed, click on this, and there is no weather um, communications on here. So we're going to get our conditions from here. Sky conditions, 6300 broken, visibility more than 10, 190 at 6, which looks like it'll set us up for 17. Okay, 190. Or no, that'll set us up for 35 uh, at 6. Altimeter 2980. Okay, 2980. Okay, bear was set. Alright. So, now that we got that set, we're all set, ready to go. Uh, oop, we need to turn our alternator on. Alternator's on. That's good. Now, okay, everything's good. Everything's still in the green. Okay. Our first VOR that we're going to be navigating to is going to be Colliers 113.9 3.99 Okay, IRQ and that is it. Okay. Our secondary is going to be Greenwood GRD 115.5 Double check that one. We won't get it. Okay, that's fine. IRQ, 22 miles away. Okay, so this Victor Airway from what I'm reading is I'm sorry, I'm just reading this right now. Looking like 3,000 minimum. I'm 
moving to 24, then it moves to 3,000, and then it would go up to 6,000 close to Asheville. So we will, let's fly this. Put on my flight plan. I don't think I did. Sorry, guys. So let's go five thousand. We'll fly this at five thousand. Okay. Get rid of that. We got that set. Our heading bug is going to be 3 5. 3 5. Okay. So. I'm going to make sure that our nav is going to be on V-Lock. Okay, V-Lock set. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to set our one thirteen point nine. And 115.5. Okay. Okay, so like I said, we're going to kind of, we know that we're, we may end up in IFR conditions, so we're going to um, kind of go with that. And I'm just putting this in here just so that, you know, it looks like I'm doing something on pilotage. And then also uh, anybody else is flying around, they get a little bit of extra scenery of a uh, plane. And we're going to take Victor 185. We're going at 5,000. And I guess our alternate, because if we the storm beats us, then we're going to go to uh, Spartanburg, KGSP. And we have four hours. One. Okay, so we got that set, like, got that all in the box, trim wheel, we'll make sure that everything's good there. Sticks to the ground a little bit, so I'd like a little nose up pitch. Okay. And we are on the South GA parking, we're going to taxi... Charlie. Okay. And we got our V-Lock in and our OBS. We're probably going to get a vector. We would probably get a vector to the north and then join up once we hit our altitude. Um, so we're going to go 005 our OBS. One 
squawk altitude and we have our temperatures have come up just right at the point where we need to get going okay like I said fuel flow is good we can turn our fuel pump off right now um, let's check actually you know what I'm going to use this, uh, let's see, f where's the wing? Okay. Check our elevator. Elevator's good. Rudder pedals good. All right. Let's go back inside. Get rid of that. All right. Let's make our call for taxi. I am gonna load in the GPS. Flight plan. And we're gonna. delete that flight plan and we're going to go direct to KAVL that way if we need um we need a uh, procedure to get down we will do that and I wouldn't mind shooting the ILS so but we're expecting the visual right now okay so let me double check make sure we got everything going we got our altimeter set got our avionics set everything set and let's go to just like I said I don't see any traffic around here I see no traffic around okay but you know what we'll still make our calls okay so taxi lights coming on Gusset traffic, November 5, for 5491 Foxtrot is taxiing to runway 35, uh, Augusta traffic. <coughs> All right, let's pop this parking brake out. And let's head out. There's always an airliner here hanging out over the taxiway. Well, I may uh, take my time going to wed on this airport and uh, add that frequency for ATIS so that can be corrected. 
And then I might slide that plane up because that should be farther up there. But it's a cool aesthetic to have. exactly the most authorized thing. Gusts of traffic, Saratoga, November 5491, Foxtrot, crossing runway 8 on Taxiway Charlie. Gusts of traffic. Okay. Let's take a look. Nobody and final, yeah. And that's not runway two six. So it looks like Augusta needs an update. Which if I can find the time, I'll do. Of course, uh you know, I've, I'm going to this airport right now. The odds of me going to it again, slim. But, uh, you know, after doing about 30 airports in WED, I, I can see how sometimes some of the things you can do can be really quick changes. Um, they're getting stricter on the type of airport so for you people who are enjoying some of the new airports that are coming out from the gateway alone you'll enjoy that they are scrutinizing them harder and harder so that's a good thing the harder they scrutinize the better quality we'll get get out of here so I guess we'll pass the run up and we'll just get out of here and go the only thing I want to make sure okay so we're going to 5,000 go ahead okay Gusts of traffic, Saratoga, November 5491, Foxtrot is taking off to the west, runway 35, Augusta traffic. Alright. Alright, fuel pump on. Landing lights on. Strobe on. Mixture full. said she needs to be nose trimmed up just a little bit okay positive rate gear coming up okay so we're gonna fly runway heading here
Okay, so we're going to get a little vector over here. Say 050 and intercept vector 185, vector 185 airway. Passing through 2000. So we're going to take our Okay, landing lights can come off, taxi lights can come off. Let's take a look and let's get our out for cruise here. So just past 4,000. Okay, so let's get this. So we want to get 23 and 23 was economic. I want to make sure that it is on VOR, yeah, VLOC. Yep, I want to stay on VLOC. Okay, and there's 5,000. So let's see how close we are to our Victor Airway. No, we're a ways. Actually, we can get on the 154 radial too. So we want to get on 154. So 
that 154 radial should be coming in. Accept that. Thirty degrees offset. Oh, we're already past that. Okay. So now we're going to go... Spin a little bit. Altitude hold. And let's sync up our heading bug. And we're going to go heading hold. Alright, looking good. See if I can pull my spec sheet out for the Saratoga. And let's, we also want to make sure we get our EGT right too. And I think that's still a lot. It's also X and Fibro. Or not X and Fibro, uh, that is XP realistic. Okay. Bump those back up just a little bit. All right. Okay, so the performance tables. Okay, based on this one, the economy cruise, 28 inches and 2200 RPM. So. We are at 30 and 22, so we want
28. And bump up the prop to 22. Alrighty, we're right there. Alright, then we want to get our EGTs. Cylinder head temperatures look right. Fuel flow. And so that's saying 14.5, so let's check that. Same we're at 33 map, but we're not. I don't get it. Oh, is this where we... Oh, this is where you set that. So we want 25 map, 2400 RPM. Select that. And we're getting bumpy. Okay. I don't know if we're going to beat this storm in here. But we'll try. You know what? It doesn't really matter if we beat it or not. I mean, if it's... As long as it's not thundering. Alright, let's see. Are we intercepting this or what? Yeah, we're getting close. We probably, they probably would have had us. And actually, we can switch over to uh, our next nav, our next VOR, which is Greenwood 1115. And we want. The 182 radial. is coming in. I'm going to track on nav. Okay, so from Greenwood, which is, let's find out our DME to Greenwood right now. Okay, so we're 86 miles away from, and we are cruising 184 ground speed. That's not bad whatsoever. Oh, and I just turned something. Yeah. Okay, 
so we want to switch over. We're switched over. Okay, landing lights off. Strobes, let's go to our checklist and Well, I gotta be honest, guys. I'm I I know some of my videos are kind of boring because um, I don't get to talk to you guys and get your guys' feedback a lot, um, which is something I've thought about. And uh, I'll break it to you right now. If anybody enjoys watching these videos, <sighs> soon. I can't, I can't, I, I want to make sure that I have the right equipment and whatnot, but uh, I will be uh, starting to stream. That's the next endeavor of mine. Uh, my Twitch channel is going to be Simpilot13. Um, I already had it set up prior to, uh, prior to being on uh, YouTube kind of didn't have them all jive together but um you're gonna find me on twitch and uh i'll, I'll make an announcement and and my videos will go on youtube after um just trying to get a little bit of help and do a little bit more research from some other guys on uh you know exactly what equipment i'm gonna need and um what kind of things i'm gonna need to know moving forward um I, i'm excited I think when you bring the aspect of Twitch, you have real-time feedback from your audience. Um, and, and what I want to do is I want to get ideas for content from you guys. Um, I'm looking at a couple of ideas or projects that I had in the works was after I finish this one would be uh, 40 different um, water airports in Alaska and jumping from one to the other uh, in the 182 cup, uh, 182 sky wagon because I've gotten a little bit better and kind of figured out the uh, water system with that um, so I'm interested in doing things like that okay so let's uh, so our DME is 137 where I'm not one through seven. I don't know what I'm reading. All right, our di uh, distance is uh, 3.2. We're going to cross over that right at about one. I'm going to switch the heading mode, so let's sync up our heading bug. And then our new course outbound from Greenwood is going to be 3.56. Okay, so let's switch the heading mode. And 356 is our next. 355. And 356. Fly over and fly over the DME or the VOR and then go back to nav and now we're going to fly the outbound okay so now we'll pull up our next nav which is Sugarloaf Mountain 112.2 like we're kind of getting there so yeah like I said uh, you guys are interested um, that is my next adventure uh, may not be tomorrow 
There's a couple of um, family issues that have happened with me and my wife that might kind of slow down the holiday season right now. But uh, other than that, um, you know, take your time with things. Family is the most important thing. And the reality is I'm not, you know, I'm not making any money on this. It's just uh, I'm enjoying it. I enjoy flying. And I enjoy uh, giving you guys, you know, my take on my flying and uh, anything interesting. And that's where I really, really like the feedback from you guys. You guys want to see me do anything. You guys want to see me go to different areas. Uh, one of the other things that I'm looking towards for the future is getting a hard drive so that I can get ortho scenery. I mean, that that has just been bugging me trying to find if anybody anybody has any idea um if anybody any of the developers they've heard of of trying to make you know ortho packages you know at zoom level on zoom level 18 or whatnot of a particular area or something like that and then just package them off in little pieces uh, i don't know if they can or can't do that just because of the original maker of ortho for x plane um ortho for xp but uh, uh just the only thing holding me back right now is the uh is the hard drive because i think that was 950 gigs that i needed to just download that file structure system they had okay so what we're going to do is we're going to set OBS2 onto NAV2 onto 112.2. Okay, so now we got that set. What I'm thinking is. Let's do I don't understand why this one just doesn't seem to want to work. So we're at three fifty four. Okay, so that track is one seventy seven. It's not picking that one up yet. Okay. Okay, so one. Whoa, we are all over the place. Team. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. 177 in. Let's check and see where our storm's at. Let's make sure that Asheville's, and I'm pretty sure Asheville stuff, 8 is 120.2, and let's see, 120.2, that is correct. Asheville um, current is going to be one of my other projects. Asheville is a little bit of a, a mess right now with a old runway, as you can see on this map right here the old runway it's not there anymore and it's actually a gravel runway and um, it's still there so when you taxi over these areas you taxi over the gravel which is just not fun so I am going to be uh, I'm gonna go redo the gateway one and get rid of that kinda of fix that up better but I uh, after this weekend being in Asheville I think Asheville may be my first um, try at a freeware um, custom designed airport that I think I'm going to do. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I'll kind of, it'll probably be, you know, it'll take time. Some of the gateway submissions that I've done, I've taken 40 hours on. Um, 
you know, and I, I don't have a whole lot of feedback from people. It, it, you know, I've taken my time and tried to do the best job I could for a gateway scenery. Um, but am I kind of wasting my time sometimes doing that and just go, you know, the only thing holding you back between a gateway scenery and uh, a freeware scenery is any other library because you can only use the laminar library for for that one. Um, so I would like, I do like the fact that I would open up my uh, Lego bricks to an outside source and I got a lot of libraries now. So uh, that's definitely going to be what I'm going to check out next. Uh, so stay tuned for that and that'll definitely be on the Orc Star. Alright, so I'm not seeing the line of thunderstorms on here and it should be showing. But here's my thing. Okay, so we switch over to 122. Uh, changeover, the changeover, changeover. I'm not seeing the changeover. So, with the weather getting worse, and that's what I kind of want to look at, is the weather getting worse. So let's look at what Asheville's seeing right now. Uh, 1300 overcast, visibility 10, wind 199, altimeter 2967. All right, it's 130 overcast. We are going to shoot that ILS. We're going to shoot that ILS. I like that. Turn this down a little bit and go out. Okay, so here would be our point of no return. We have um, Greenville Spartanburg right, almost right underneath us, about 30 miles out. You know, be, oh, yeah, that that makes it different. So we are in IMC that quickly. All right, so we're. We're in and out, hit or missing it on right now. So uh, what we are going to do is I'm going to go grab my plate. Right. See, now if I was streaming right now, this is where I would ask you guys if we should shoot the RNAV approach or the... Or the ILS, but I like the ILS. So, let's get that loaded in here. Okay, so flight plan. Oh, we're going to go to procedure. We're going to select approach. Actually, let's undock this. Enter. Okay, so what did we get on the weather there? Let's try the weather again. So we got 120.2. 
Let's see if we can get the weather. Asheville Regional Information okay. Whiskey. 2000 Zulu weather. With 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1300 overcast. Temperature 12. 2.11. Altimeter 2967. Arriving runway 17. Departing runway 17. Advise on initial contact you have whiskey. Okay, so we're going to go with the GPS one up. Asheville up. Regional Information X-Ray. 20 hundreds of wind weather. Wind 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1,300. Okay, so acid. let's see. Where's Let's see. 2.11. Altimeter 2967. Arriving runway 17. Departing runway 17. Just pulling up sky vector right now. Advise on initial contact. You have X-Ray. Asheville Regional Information X-Ray. 20 hundred Zulu weather. Wind 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1,300 overcast. And I'm telling you, the, the storms are almost there. There's no way we can do that. Um, Arriving runway 17. Departing runway 17. So if the wind is 19 at 9. All right, this is going to be hairy. Asheville Regional Information X-Ray. 20 hundreds Zulu weather. Wind 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1,300 overcast. Temperature 12. 2.11. Altimeter 2967. Arriving runway 17. Departing runway we're going to have to do the... Uh, on initial we're going to have to do the ILS-35 and... Man, I don't know. Because there's no way we can go off of these vectors out here. Just to get a uh, headwind. Asheville Regional Information X-Ray. 20 hundreds in blue weather. Wind 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1,300 overcast. Temperature 1, 2, 2.11. Altimeter two nine six seven. I don't know if that would be exactly runway one seven. Departing but runway one seven. That could be on initial contact you have X ray. And let's go from tuxedo. <coughs> Asheville Regional Information X ray. Okay, so from Spartanburg. Our feeder is 287. Sky conditions 1,300 overcast. Temperature 12. So 15.7. Altimeter 2967. Arriving runway 17. Departing runway 17. Advise on initial contact. You have X-ray. 15.7. Spartanburg. 15.7 and let's do Asheville that regional information x-ray and whoop, whoop, whoop. I gotta go to heading mode with 190 at 9 visibility 10 sky conditions 1300 overcast temperature 12 2. 287 is altimeter our 2967 arriving runway 17 so here we go, we gotta go 287. <laughs> Good luck with that. 287. Let's read that again. 287. Alright, 3. Visibility 10. Okay, so Spartanburg. Overcast. Temperature one two. So we're gonna hit that as a nav. Altimeter two nine six seven. Arriving runway one seven. 
Okay, so let's look at our plate. We gotta be at 52. No procedure turn for us. And let's get the uh, localizer set up. 110.5. One nine zero at nine. Visibility ten. Sky conditions one thousand three hundred overcast. Temperature one two. Dew point one ten point five. Altimeter two nine six seven. Arriving runway one okay. seven. Cool. Departing we're already set. Runway one seven. Advised okay. Initial so we're going from Spartanburg. We're gonna hit the two eighty seven radio out to Tuxedo. Here, what you can see that there. Okay. Got our weather. Asheville Regional Information X ray. Twenty. So we're on Spartanburg. Fourteen DME. Let's check and see where it is. Okay, so since we got our second one on the sugar loaf. Our needle and there we go intercepting that twenty four points am I reading that twenty four point six DME or twenty four Okay, so 5,200, so we're there. Should be a little bit higher, but... So we're heading to Tuxedo. So, now what I want to do is I want to make my secondary here. which is 110.5. Okay. All right, so let's get this thing ready. Uh, let's get Asheville's altimeter set again. Asheville Regional Information X-ray. 2967. Wind 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1,300 overcast. Temperature 1, 2, 2.11. Altimeter 2967. Arriving runway 17. Okay, altimeter set. Runway 17. Advise on initial contact. You have X ray. Okay, so let's get our heading butts, heading boat synced back up. Asheville Regional Information X ray. Twenty hundred. Okay, so switch over weather. there. Wind one nine zero at nine. Visibility ten. Our procedure. Sky conditions one thousand three hundred over. We're gonna cast. activate this just in case we need to get some hands off for a second. Two nine six seven. Uh, but this will not activate Departing unless I switch this from V lock to GPS. So. Initial contact. You have X ray. And of course we got. So cruising. Asheville Regional Information X ray. 2100 Zulu weather. Wind 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1300 overcast. Temperature 12. 2.11. Altimeter 2967. Arriving runway 17. It's pretty Departing bumpy. 17. Advise on initial contact, you have X-ray. Okay, so let's get everything set. <clears throat> We're gonna wanna make sure, yep, our yep, I wasn't paying attention to our fuel, so let's turn fuel pump on. Fuel pumps on. Asheville and let's switch tanks. 
2100 Zulu weather. We're over there. With 190 at 9. Visibility. Fuel 10. flow. It's Sky good. No drop. 1300 overcast. Okay, fuel pump one off. Okay, we're going to set this on heading mode right here. Runway 17. Departing runway 17. Advise on initial heading mode only. All right, we're going to switch over to the localizer. And our localizer is 347 Nashville Regional Information X-ray. 2100 Zulu weather. Wind 190 at 9, visibility 10. Sky conditions 1300 overcast, temperature 12, 2.11. Altimeter 2967. Okay. Arriving runway 17, departing runway Beautiful 17. Countryside. Here we go. Advise on initial contact, you have X ray. This is where we need to be on the ball here. Okay, localizer's coming in. We're going to go regional information now. We're going to turn weather. on in. Wind 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1,300 okay. overcast. So, we're going to set up for our approach now. Fuel pump on. Mixture full. Arriving runway 17. We're going to keep our departing runway 17. Prop. Advise on initial contact. You have X-ray. Push our prop forward. Okay, so our initial Nashville Regional Information X-ray. So we do not. Twenty-one hundred Zulu weather. We are cleared down to four thousand. Visibility ten. At Sky conditions one thousand three hundred overcast. Temperature one two. Dew the bra and DB. Altimeter two nine six seven. Arriving runway 17, departing runway 17. Advise okay. on initial I don't even contact. Know if we have, have X ray. Do I have an NDBM? Okay, so we're Nashville getting to the region draw. information X ray. 2100 Zulu weather. Wind 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1,300 overcast. Temperature 1, 2. We're going to switch this 1, 1. over. Altimeter 2967. We're going to get this. Arriving back runway on. 17. Departing runway 17. Advise on initial contact. You have X ray. Okay, so 3, 4. Asheville Regional Information X-Ray. 2100 Zulu weather. With 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1300 overcast. Temperature 12. 2.11. Altimeter 2967. Okay, so we're out Arriving runway 17. To departing runway 17. Advise on initial contact. You have X-Ray. Asheville Regional Information X-Ray. 2100 Zulu weather. Wind okay. 190 at 9. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 1300 overcast. Temperature 1 2. Okay, so we're almost at bra. Altimeter 2967. Arriving runway okay. 17. Departing Get runway. That take care of. Okay, at bra. They're down to 4,000, so let's hit vertical speed. Okay, so our vertical speed, so let's pull down. Let's get down to. Alright, here comes the clouds. All right, we're gonna put our landing lights on. Nav lights, cause it's crazy. 
fuel pump is on. And let's get that in the arc so that we can need to be at four thousand. Need to go a little bit more than this. Cleared 4,000, and we're almost there, so we need to get there real quick. Okay, minimums for this ILS 35 is 23.6, 2,336 field elevations, 2,162, so we've got to remember that. Okay. And we are above. So we're going to drop a natural flaps. And we are going to start down. speed is like nothing right now. Need to turn the autopilot off. That's... Oh, what just happened there? Something's going on here. Okay. Get back squared up here. I am like severely. Okay, gotta get control of this here. Okay, let's come back. To, all right, we got our. Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on, hang on. We're gonna go around here. Let's go back to. We're going missed here. Holy moly. Okay, we are having some troubles here. That is not exactly I was looking at doing. Okay. Weren't even close. Okay, so we've got gear going down. I'm going to put the flaps up. Why is this so floaty? Okay, so we're looking for 31. We're going to do a visual in. I botched that ILS really, really bad. This plane, as soon as I took it off of autopilot, it just didn't want to fly anymore. Okay, so, and we're going to fly this with no flaps, so. to here. Well, that was kind of a failure. A legit failure right there because that was bad 
planning on my part. Okay, so gear down, gears down, locked. Can't use flaps now. Okay, so let's get this. Slow down a little bit here. We're gonna miss this mountain here. Miss these. Miss Highway 26. could see that the other the secondary runway where it's kind of off doesn't look kind of right. All right we need a little speed here it just seems like it wants to fall out of the sky right now I don't know why okay gear down mixtures up props up airspeeds high but we are into the wind everything's looking good now Correction, threader. Uh, a little bit more power, fall below the line. Oh, going so long. Oh, that was so ugly. You can tell I haven't flown in like two weeks. Oh, all right. Well, that was an adventure, and uh, and one that kind of showcased that you. It doesn't take long to get rusty, even innocent. It was kind of cool on how the uh, designer did this, where he's got, it looks like it's under construction. But I just passed it the other day, it's no longer under construction. And you get stuck in this gravel stuff right here. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because so you can blow a tire on this stuff too. This airport does not like to follow contours either. Okay, so let's put a little bit of take our landing lights off, put taxi lights on, fuel pump can come off, strobe and nav can come off, pilot heat can and pedo heat can come off. Okay, it's clear. So we're going to taxi to the GA parking, which is on the north side. The flight director can go off. Well, all right, so was this video an example of what you should do? No. Uh, did we survive? Yes. 
Um, did we do it per procedure? Not exactly. But uh, it was definitely a challenge, and we knew that we were, you know, in the real world, you think about it, in the real world, you're not going to push that. Uh, you would have landed at your alternate, and, uh, and our alternate was uh, Spartanburg, and it was completely fine for the most part there, right before we got there. So, uh, see, you know what? See, I'm looking at that. I knew that confused me. No, that's right. That's right. Okay. So, we're going to go. We're looking for B4. Alpha. Oh yeah, we're looking for Foxtrot, Kilo, yeah, we gotta keep going. So, yes, as an example of uh, how things can go bad, yes, it's the best example I've ever seen. Um. But you know you learned some things, so uh, and so we got hotel right there, golf, and then we're gonna turn eh, we're gonna turn down golf when we see it, and here comes golf right there. It's right next to the FBO. Uh, yeah, so it didn't go as planned, but uh, we'll work on it. And like I said, uh, I just got rusty. I actually been off of the sim for two weeks which um, is definitely kind of makes me a little concerned too because I really want to nail this um, I-5 rating on Pilot Edge which I want to do tomorrow I'm still not confident in this plane there's, there's not really a whole lot that I've been able to do and I don't know if all of it's my fault um, you know I've tried to put a lot of time in on it I think I took it out for one day and just did um, approaches and um, pattern work for like an hour I think it was like 13 landings or something like that but um, kind of don't know how the parking spaces are set up here but uh, oh, you know what I see what they're doing here um, but I, you got to feel confident, especially if you're doing some on Pilot Edge, because until you get proficient on the comms, um, you got the comms overwhelming you, and you got the plane overwhelming you, and there hasn't been a whole lot of times where the plane, ha this plane hasn't been overwhelming me. I thought I felt really good on that at the beginning today, but um, it just got, you know, the, the landings. Landings are the keys. I got to be able to turn this plane where I want it, when I want it, and get the altitude right. Now, obviously, you can cheat. Well, you can't cheat. You can do it based on how you would do it. And I'd be doing, instead of doing it by hand, I would have done in the old nav approach and let the autopilot guide it down and follow the ILS. So, uh, so that's what we got there. But, um, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let's see what the next flight is. So I hope you guys enjoyed again. Uh, we're going to K. Uh, we're going from Asheville to. I want to look at this again because um, I picked a point, and I might be changing that point. So, VJI, and I don't even remember what that is. Let's see. KVJI. Go. And that's Virginia Highlands. Um, I don't know why I picked that one, but... Um, it does have an ILS, so we could shoot an ILS approach again. Um, 
So I think that's where we could go to Bristol or Elizabeth Elizabethton Municipal. Um, we'll figure that one out, but um, I think I'll take the um, Cirrus out the next time. Cirrus or a Cessna. I don't know which. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and um, you know, watch me almost crash into the ground on that one on final. But holy moly. So, uh, but anyway, next time uh, we'll see you. And, uh, you know, like I said, just give me any feedback you guys want. Um, I'm open to it. Trust me. So uh, thank you. GA Sim Pilot is out.